Is your New Year's resolution to work out more or maybe it's to read more books? Well, we have the perfect answer to both of those tonight. Celeb Peloton instructor Ben Aldis is here to talk about his new book. Hey, Ben, how are you? I'm well, thank you. Thanks for having me on. Yeah, so first things first, we want to know what led you to be a part of the Peloton community. Yeah, so for me, I, I went through a lot of uh, health challenges myself. Um, I used to work in finance previously to joining the fitness industry. And I went on a, a sort of health and wellness discovery myself. Mm -hmm. And then I got into coaching fitness classes, uh, fell in love with the industry, and then very quickly became a coach to lots of different people, including a couple of celebrities. And then Peloton came knocking on my door and <laughs> I, I, I invited me to an audition. And um, this was at the very start um, of the UK business forming. Yeah. And at the, at the time, the business really wasn't... Uh, it, the business it was today but I, I saw it as an amazing opportunity that I can can miss out on so it's uh, it's been five years since then and it's been a very a great journey did you expect it to become the phenomenon that it now is like you are a celebrity peloton instructor <laughs> to be honest uh, I didn't really have any expectations I think for me I want I, I saw the potential in it I saw the uniqueness of the product uniqueness of the community and i just wanted to be a part of it yeah. and then obviously as things start to grow um you know my main goal is to try and help as many people as possible so whether it's 10 people or a million people like yeah. that's that's good for me i love how you say a million like that's not the actual number but it, that's not even an exaggeration a million people probably do work out with you uh, pretty often how has being a part of this community changed your life it's, it's transformed my life. I mean, uh, I used to work in, in finance. I think my life was very different in the sense that I was sat at a desk all day. I was focused on, you know, helping businesses grow and working with my bosses to invest in businesses around the world. Um, but a lot of that was uh, sedentary. So I was sat at a desk all day. I did look after my health and wellness, but I think that along that process I got to a point of burnout both physically and mentally and this taught me a lot of lessons which I have taken into this new role that I, I took on five years ago or yeah. as I moved into the fitness industry and for me it's it's totally transformed my life in a sense of fulfillment in a sense of uh, the way that I'm able to help lots of people on a daily basis um, and I, I'm going on a discovery myself you know like yeah. whether that's in the fitness industry and the wellness space, the great thing about wellness is that it is ever evolving and we're learning new things every single day. And because of my passion for it and because of the fact that I'm at a business that is at the forefront, it means that you know I'm one of the leaders in the space. So yeah. it's, it's really exciting. Yeah, and now you have a book, it's called Raise the Bar. So tell us a little bit about why now is the time to release it and what we can get out of that book. Yeah, so the whole reason why I wanted to release a book was really, I mean, for me, I wanted to create a toolkit that would provide me the tools that I can tap into on a daily basis to elevate my life, to raise the bar in my life, um, and also to help others along the way. I think sometimes in wellness, there's so much noise and there's so much, so many things that we can be doing or that we, you know, that we're, we're sold on the internet or places that we we speak to people. Uh, and so my goal with this book is to create a toolkit for people to tap into um, both from a wellness perspective, but also from a mindset motivation and overcoming hurdles perspective. Um, my transition from finance to fitness, elements of that are within there, plus my challenges with health scares, um, supporting my loved, one, loved ones through health scares and lots of different elements of life beyond wellness yeah. are within the book. So I think you know, wellness doesn't just mean working out. It mm -hmm. doesn't just mean getting good sleep. It doesn't just mean nutrition. It's it's a good combination of all those things, but it also encompasses um, building strong relationships with your loved ones around you, making sure that you're committing time and energy to the things that are going to make you happier and healthier. And a big emphasis of the book is focusing on energy givers and moving away from energy takers in your life. Okay, well, I think that's a pretty good tease for us to go get this book and, you know, reinvent ourselves in 2024 with your help, Ben. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us tonight. You can find more about Ben at benaldis.com. Coming up next...
telling us all about Danny Casale's Dumb Dreams art exhibit, and then we're making tortilla chips on Air Friday.